What rock group has four men who don't sing? It's Mount Rushmore. It's time to talk about groups. Groups are used to help simplify schedule building. After you've added in your credential holders, you'll want to use this tool to assign rules to multiple users who have the same schedules or permissions. All right, let's break it down. Step one, grab your phone and open up your app. Thank you. From the app, let's go ahead and go into groups. From there, it's time to create different groups of users who will all have the same access permissions granted to them. Adding a new group is as easy as hitting that plus button and then you give them a cool name. Because if the 90s taught us anything, all groups need a cool name, right? You're then gonna see the rules engine builder. Click that plus button to build your first group rule. You can build all sorts of different types of rules. You can build access rules, you can build elevator rules, event rules, and even anti-passback rules. The most commonly used rules are gonna be your access rules, so let's go ahead and show you how to do that. First off, you're gonna to need to choose if this is going to allow access or if this is going to deny access. Because we wanna create this rule that allows users to be able to gain access to specific doors, let's go ahead and just leave it at allow. Next, we need to build the schedule. So, go ahead and select the start time and then the stop time for when these users are going to be able to need to gain access. Go ahead and select the days of the week that you want them to be able to gain access. If you wanna set up an authentication policy for this group, you can do that right here. Go ahead and select the drop down menu, and then you can choose whether or not you want card only access, pin only access, card or pin, or you can even set it up as card and pin, so that way you have a dual factor authentication. You can never be too secure, you know? The last step to building a group rule is choosing exactly which doors you want this group to be able to gain access to. We do this by hitting the plus button there next to devices, and then you scroll and click on the doors that this group needs access to. And then you can scroll to the top to save the rule. The next thing that we need to do is assign members to this group. And just like everything else on the ProData Key app, it's really easy to do. Very nice. Simply scroll down to the members, hit that plus icon, and then choose the members that you need to be part of this group. After that, you're all finished up. Every member of this group will now have that new rule that you just built applied to them. You're really getting the hang of this. PDK is easy to use anytime, anywhere, and on any device. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to watch the next video in this series for more how-to instructions. What? <laughs>